Oh, that was the bonus mission, right? Hey, yo, Freak Out, what up, man? Congratulations, you've unlocked uh, Principal Skinner Sedan. Go to a phone booth. Alright, we got an extra car. Still want to find the vehicle vendor. Watch where you're going. Do you think you're superintendent of the sidewalk? I'll teach you to fell or topple me. Rudeness is epidemic. Anyway. Uh, back to what we were doing before we found Skinner just chilling on the side of the road. We were exploring the town a bit, trying to find any more... Any more wasps or cards or anything, because we're kind of lacking in the wasp and card department. We've almost got all the gags. And like I said, if, if we don't find everything at, with our once-over, that's pretty much what we're doing. We're, I'd like to give the whole town a once-over. If we don't find everything in our once-over, I'll come back to clean up later. So that's no big deal. But the only real area of the town that we haven't, like, semi-explored at least is the docks. And that's where our next mission is, so we'll go explore that before we do the next Look mission, out. and we should be good to go. Oh, but I think there's there. a lot over there. Like, I think there's a lot, a lot over there. In fact, there might be something right here. Maybe not. Walking a wasp here or anything? PC. No. Sweet forward momentum. Yeah. Gonna be taking the lo the road less traveled here, or the roads less traveled here. Going out of my way to explore again, looking for cards or wasps mainly. Still missing a gag or two, but if I'm only one or two gags down when we when we finish the level, it's not bad not at all. The car. Ah, is that a wasp? Yes. Oh, he's shooting at me. All right. Didn't realize we were that far in the game yet. This game was my childhood. I played this game a bit. I played Road Rage more, and I guess Road Rage is horrible, but like it was a long time ago, so I don't remember either game very well. I played Road Rage a lot more for some reason. I think I just had it longer, and I think I got hit and run on the GameCube about the time that the GameCube was sort of dying for me. You know what I mean? I was, I was moving on. From that. That's the thing. Everything, I, everything that I played on the GameCube was an absolute certified banger of a game. But there just weren't many games that I put on the GameCube. Um, my friends had Melee. I never actually had Melee. Melee, whatever you call it. Um, I hope these are recyclable. But, like, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Because Sailor had it, and it was awesome. Um, Super Mario Sunshine. Picked this up. And then, like, outside of those three games, I swear I probably only had maybe, like, two games more max for the GameCube that I, that I played that were, in fact, certified bangers. Earl. Electronic... A uh, automatic robot lighthouse. We're in an automatic robot lighthouse right now, people. Be in awe. Everything was good as a kid. I hope you I know what? I, I agree with that. Fart. I hope these are recyclable. I agree with that because, like, when you were a kid, you didn't really have a choice, did you? You know what I mean? Is that the lighthouse? I think it's just the lighthouse. Yeah, I thought I was seeing something I shiny. Sure use a pony right now. But it's just the lighthouse, like, spinning around. <laughs> okay. Anyway. I wonder if I'll get extra credit for this. I'm gonna hit this little ramp here. See, I'm next to my mission. I just don't want to do it yet. But no, when you were a kid, like, first of all, you didn't have the internet to tell you how to beat. You didn't have the internet to tell you how to beat games. And you only had a handful of games, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I'm an adult now. You more. couldn't pirate back in the day for the most part. I'm an adult now, you know what I mean? Like, if I really want a game, I keep an eye on upcoming game releases. If I want a game, I buy it, but there's so... Where, what am I doing? I was stuck on the rail. But there's so many games that exist, it's like I can always go back and play old games that I haven't before. Like, thanks to- I- on the boat! There's a card up there, I gotta get on the boat. Um, you know, thanks to emulator, I, emulators, I can play a lot of N64 games perfectly fine. I can play anything, pretty much, on a Game Boy Advance ever made. I'm gonna have to do so much perfectly fine. To pay for that. If I ever want to go back. But I always have games to play. But as a kid, when I was at my house, when I was little, I had a Sega Genesis. Um, for a little bit 
I had a PlayStation. I got a PlayStation One and a Nintendo 64 about the same time. Most of the PS One games didn't work. I had one wrestling game on there. I'd play a little bit. And other than that, the games either didn't work or I didn't like them. Oh, and Croc, Croc Two. I had Croc Two for some reason. Um. I think I wasn't supposed to break these. Whatever, we're breaking them. If you don't break them all the way, you can come back later. Like, you can keep reloading the game up or something like that. But whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, so, I, I had a couple PS1 games for the PS1 that my uncle just gave me because he got a PS2 or something. Or he didn't play games anymore. So, he just gave me he just gave me his PS1. But, like I said, not a lot of games. Didn't really play it. Uh, played a lot of the N64. And that was it at my house. You know, I had Super Mario 64. Maybe had Mario Party, Mario Kart 64. A couple other games here and there. DK 64. But that's what I had to play, and that's what I played at my house. It went from the Sega Genesis to the N64, and if it wasn't on that list, get fucked, because that's all I can play. Hey, thank you for the three bits, Silently Matt. How you doing, bud? Um, when I went over to my grandma's house, and I spent a lot of time at my grandma's house, one of my grandma's house, uh, is there anything over there? I don't think so. She had a Sega Genesis. That was it. You know what I mean? I had a Sega Genesis. I had Golden Axe. I had Sonic 2. I had Sonic 1, Streets of Rage, you know, a couple other games, but those games were hard. And, you know, if I didn't like it, or if I don't want to play those games, get fucked. Like, bottom line, handful of games, Limited right? Edition. Same oh, thing at my other grandma's. My other grandma had an original Nintendo, like, like an OG Nintendo. And over there I had Tecmo Bowl, Zelda 2, which isn't very good at all. Um, I had Tecmo Bowl, I had Zelda 2. I had a uh, hockey game called Blades of Steel, which was actually really fun. Blades of Steel was actually real solid. I recommend it. Can I get out of here? Am I stuck in here? I think I'm just stuck in here. Oh, God. Oh, no, I can jump this fence. And then maybe one or two other games, but... Very limited. Handful of games. And again, if, if I didn't like them, or if I had trouble beating them, couldn't finish apart, get fucked. The internet didn't exist. You know what I mean? So I couldn't look up how to get past. I couldn't look up how to beat Zelda 2 like you can today, right? Um, unless you had, like, the guidebook or something. I'm going back to my car. If I can find it. There it is. But that's why every game was better, because you were forced to play it. Number one, you had a lot less games to choose from, so knowing what a really good game versus a not very good game was was a little bit harder to come by. And number two, uh, you had to play them. Bad or not, you had to play them. Like, I would put hours and hours into games that, like, I look back now and I'm like, man, that game was terrible. That is not a good game at all. But you know what? Played it back then, because I kind of had to. Remember cheat code? You mean that thing before they made them all DLC? Yeah. Go, girl. Yeah, I remember. I'm not. I don't want to go down Member Berry Lane though. Cause I was actually kind of thinking about the bad times just now. I have never played a Hulk game. In fact, I didn't even know they made Hulk games. I'm gonna. I'm gonna completely level with you. I didn't even know they made Hulk games. Incredible Hulk games. I mean. Though they'd probably be pretty hype. You really could. Just put an Incredible Hulk skin on Prototype, for the most part. And you'd probably have something good. Like, obviously, he can't, like, morph and shapeshift like Alex Mercer can. But just running through the city like an absolute monster. Curb stomp and everything. Time to hit the streets. I feel like I can get on that plane or something. That's got to be a gag. Can I get on there? Man, I gotta be able to get on there, surely. Now that I got a non-terrible camera angle. Now oh, maybe I can't. Oh, one Grant Jones. Think of the host, bud. My host alerts are off because Streamlabs... It's really broken when I try to let hosts come through for some reason. Yeah, I'm gonna give up on that one. Circus music's a nice touch, though. Forward momentum. Um, okay. No. 
All right, we'll leave here. I think I've pretty much explored everything, like given everything the once over at bare minimum. Oh, except the boat. We gotta go back onto the big boat on our way back. And then other than that, yeah, because where does this go? I'm pretty sure, yeah, yeah, I've been over here already. We did, we did this already. So yeah, given uh, given everything, the, the the one good. I won't question the value of this activity. Once over, so we go to the boat and then we just we'll just run missions till we're done because it's you know unless I see something unless something catches my eye. But I know there's a few things on the boat. I just have to find out how many get up there or get on the boat. Oh hey, we're on the boat. All right, well that was something. Don't worry, everyone. I figured it out. If I want this looks fun. This game's old school, but this game is... Uh, I talked about it earlier. If you know The Simpsons, this game's really solid. Okay. This game's pretty solid if you know The Simpsons, because there's, there's a lot of old Simpsons memes that are running around, and the game's inherently funnier if you know the characters. But pretty much, it's, it's a licensed game based on a TV show, and almost any licensed game based on a TV show or movie is just terrible by nature. Just awful. Hey, later, Eldest Pete. Have a good night, man. Thanks for hanging out. Just terrible by nature just because of what it is. But as far as, like, terrible licensed games go, this is definitely one of the way better terrible licensed games. You know what I mean? If that makes any sense. There's an old Spider- Yeah, the Spider-Man was on N64. I didn't play that one, like, a lot, a lot. But I, I definitely put some hours into it. Um... So I would run through the game and beat it once just because after you beat it once you unlocked a couple new spider-man suits And one of them would make it was there was this cool looking blue one and It would make you turn invisible. And I always thought that was the coolest shit But I would go invisible so enemies couldn't see me and then I'd play through the game again. It's really fun Hey, what up prawn? How, how you doing man? I should have paid more attention in the gym. I haven't seen this game in ages I hadn't either but I started watching a uh, speedrunners who run this game and this game's actually got a pretty fun little speed run from the looks of it and I kind of want to learn it. Where is the vendor, man? I have no idea where... Because, like, I found auto, but where's the where's the actual vendor for cars in this level? I can't find the vendor for cars in any level, actually. I don't know where they're I don't know where they're hiding them from, man. Do I have to drive a car up there? Nope. All right, I made it. such a zen experience. Level cards collected. New bonus thing. Um, I wonder if I can take all this level's cards wow. to the card shop, or I, I wonder if it has to be. I wonder if it has to be every card in the game. I might go back to comic book guy. See what he says. There's nothing up here. How are we doing level progress wise? Any Pokemon streams coming up soon? Um, I'm I'm gonna keep uploading Bronze. Um, Brian, Bronze is almost done. If you're watching the Emerald Nuzlocke, but yeah, soon-ish. Probably like I don't plan on starting immediately. Probably within the next couple of weeks, maybe. I need to get another layout done. Probably within the next couple of weeks, we'll be starting Pokemon Sweet. The ROM hack Pokemon Sweet is the idea. Is that Post Malone? Yeah, this is me. Got an album coming out soon. How's our level progress looking? Uh. Got all the cards. It's awesome. Did the bonus mission. Have two regular... Man, we're 72% of the way done. I'm three wasps and uh, two gags short. Like, that's... If we end the... We can end it on this. Like, we can end the level on this note and I'll be happy. This is totally fun with me. I'm gonna... I feel like I haven't gotten everything there is to get on the boat. Oh, there's a secret car up there. I need something bigger to get me up there. I want to drive the secret car, though. Sure, use a pony right now. Can I get on? Maybe if I got on the wall? Or er, from behind? Oh, maybe. Oh, man. Uh oh. Uh oh, boys. What are you? School of the streets. Mrs. Puff's boating school? There goes my college money. Time All to right. move. Alright. I guess that wasn't really meant to be ramped. Anyways, we have this thing now. I was just streaming Fire Red and never played it before. Um, 
Got a pretty nice team. My War Turtle's unstoppable. I mean, yeah. If you're playing through the base games, man, you really don't have a lot to worry about. If you're new to Pokemon, I mean, you try to get your type coverage down. If you really want to get into it, look at Pokemon stats. Oh, hey, Yo might be the, the vehicle vendor. It'll get rid of my boat when I buy this, which sucks. But... At least I can buy stuff here. Um... If you're like newish to Pokemon though, I don't know, I don't know, I know you're out of Pokemon, but Fire Red's definitely the place to start for sure. Yeah, I got rid of my boat, man. I wanted to drive the boat. Whatever, I'm not going back up there for it. But now nah, I'm just keep playing Pokemon, you'll figure out as you go for sure. It won't get rid of the boat. Wait, did it? Did it get rid of my boat? I believe it got rid of my boat. It might have been because my boat was parked where they wanted to spawn it. Could you come get me? I played Simpsons Road Rage like a mad one. Yeah, you wanna know what's bad? And like, I didn't realize this either. Um, Cortez, I, di I didn't realize this either until I started playing this one, until I started watching speedrunners run this one again. Cause I was a kid, right? I, we were just talking about this a few minutes ago. When you're a kid, you can't really tell which games are good or bad cause you're forced to play them all regardless. You don't really think about that kind of thing. Whether it's good or bad. You just know if you have fun playing it or you know if you don't have fun playing it. And if you don't have fun playing it and you don't like it, you still try it cause you've played the games you do like already. And you're going to keep going back to those games you're not having fun with because those are the games you made the least progress in. And then maybe you start to like them after a while. But a this game's game. actually not that terrible. Road Rage, I guess, is, is like just truly a bad game to the core. I don't remember it being bad because, like I said, when I was a kid, I played it a bunch. But, oh, this is a race. I don't want this.